Lots of stuff to get into tonight. Before we even go there, I have to tell y'all something. I'm a, I am a, <laughs> I'm a manifester, y'all. Some would say I'm a member of the Illuminati. But I ain't killed anybody yet. Uh, but I do have some siblings that, you know, there's a negotiation, there's a fair trade. You know, we've had a lot of good years together. Uh, let me say this. Uh, yesterday, we opened up the Hollywood Unlocked Studios here in Hollywood. I have to give myself a round of applause. Because I am a black man. Let me say it again. I'm a black man. I'm a black man. I'm a black man who created a studio space for podcasters and people who want to create content, whether you're a chef or you want to do a photo shoot or you're a TikTok or whatever. You know, I wanted to create a space for people to be able to create because when I started Hollywood Unlocked, a lot of people didn't want to help me. People didn't give me resources. And as you know, I've been working on my e-courses for the last year and that's getting ready to roll out next month. So I thought, like, why not create a studio space? And listen, it's top of the line, uh, state of the art. Is it top of the, what is it? State of the art, right? Mm -hmm. And top line. Okay, whatever. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. And then I'm going to tell you where you could go and check it out. Take a look. Welcome to Hollywood Unlocked Studios. Hollywood Unlocked Studios is a full service, high end, one stop shop for all people who want to create podcasts, photo shoots, or other content. When I started Hollywood Unlocked, it was my podcast, Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored, that actually put me on the map. And so I understood how important it was to be able to put texture to a brand. But what I didn't know was where to find the resources to get the help that I needed to bring those dreams to life. And now that I'm making it, I want to make the opportunity available to you to be able to come in and create your own podcast, do a photo shoot, or create your own dreams right here in the middle of Hollywood in a full service, one-stop shop to service your needs. To join our community or rent the space to bring your dreams to life, go to hustudios.com. And there you have it, my latest project, the Hollywood Unlocked Studio. <laughs> but I also have to say, not only is that an amazing opportunity for people to come in, but that's also going to be where I start to do all my live interviews now. So I want to do the in-person interviews again. There's just nothing like sitting in a room with somebody feeling their energy and if it gets heated you know what i mean you know it'd be what it is but i'm excited to do that so we are there and uh but anyway you know people were hating on me not for that but it was last night yesterday i was standing in the studio it was the first day we opened let me tell you how good god is because i manifest stuff i'm sitting in the studio are you listening are you listening to me okay listen I'm sitting in the studio and, I, and I'm looking at Rob and I'm like, how do we get people to rent this place out? How do we get people to get here? And I was stressed out to the point to where like, if you know me personally, when I stress, everybody around me stresses because I, I literally start poking everybody to make, because I need everybody to be equally as, as, uh, as depressed as me, right? It's the American way. And uh, the phone rings, the phone rings and it's whack 100. I'm like, what's up, whack? What's going on? You know, did I do some? Is somebody mad? What you know? Cause what 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 whack? What's going on? Is it the clubhouse thing? Do we got we rolling up on somebody? And whack says, hey, is your podcast studio open? I said, yeah, just open today. He said, hey, somebody wants to talk to you. And he put Kanye West on the phone. I mean. And me and Kanye get to talking about the studio. Now, I'm going to just say this. I mean, I don't want to disappoint everybody. I'm going to keep a lot of the night last night confidential. But I'm going to share a little bit but I, because I do have a rule. When you're in a private space, you got to keep it private. And, and so it started with a phone call. And we were talking about the studio and some ideas and stuff like that. And, and, and I said to him, and he said, well, when can, when can we meet? I said, whenever you want. And he said, nine o'clock and i said okay and so i'm going to show you a quick video real quick and then we'll get into it take a look Yeah. Oh, I started a joke. It's called eternal life. Excuse me. 
Yeah, I'm starting to come. You start eternal life. Can you love me? Honey, what's the next time you come? Yeah, brother. Can you fuck with me? Can you sign my shit? God loves you, brother. Green God loves you. Yeah. Can you sign my shit? Green coin. Yeah. Green coin. Yeah. Green coin. Yeah. Green coin. Yeah. My name is Z. Eternal life. I'm son of Abraham. Honey. All right. Honey, I got a picture of you, honey. Now, I'm not going to get into all the details, but we spent about four hours talking last night. Do you have the photo? There was somebody else in the restaurant when we got there. Look, look who else was there. Antonio Brown was in the building. Like, the restaurant was lit last night. Evan Ross also pulled up. But anyway, and shout out to Rich, the owner of Fashion Nova. The reason why I'm telling the story, and the reason I wasn't going to tell the story because it was such an amazing night last night, a lot of really good conversation, a lot of stuff to follow up on. But, uh, you know, when I've been on my journey to building Hollywood a lot, it's a lot of you out here that have had a relationship with Kanye West. You know, I've been to his house. You know, I know Kim. You know, I've been around them. Uh, and I've known his cousin for years, Ricky, for years, years. And I've been around for a long time. But there, but it's, but people have not put me next to Ye to have the conversation about how we can interview him, how he can, you know, allow Hollywood Unlocked to peek inside his world a little bit, ask him questions about not only some of his controversial moments, but some of his uh, his uh, brilliance, because he is a very brilliant fucking person, okay? Uh, and, and also, I think in many ways, him and I are similar in the sense that we are very misunderstood on some things. You know, that's not to take away from some of the stuff that I would also have a, a, an extreme opinion about that he's done that I don't agree with. But I heard all his new music. I'm not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it. I did hear the song with him and Cardi. I just got off the phone with Cardi to tell her that I heard it. I'm not going to talk about it. And there's a new song coming out soon, and I know when, but I can't talk about it. But the song going to have you like, you know what I mean? Listen, Kanye West, as controversial as he may be, and he said and done some things that have made my eyebrows fall, go all the way back to my neck. He is brilliant, and he has done a great job for putting on for his city in Chicago. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on Drink Champs. We talked about uh, the Drink Champs interview. We talked about... The, the 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 versus battle with Drake, which is what I call it, because that's what that was. That was a glorified versus battle uh, that I think Kanye happened to win. And we talked about other personal matters that I'll leave at that. But what I will tell you is that, you know, when I walked in the room and Kanye said, I want you to sit right here by me. And I sat there and we talked for four, four and a half hours. We talked about everything. I have to tell you, what I will say is that he seems very happy. He seems, you know how sometimes you just take a deep breath, like you just have a sense of relief. He really seemed happy. And, and I'm happy for that. I'm not saying that he is happy. I'm just saying my opinion was that he was happy. And what I will tell you is that we talked about his gospel music. We talked about a lot of things, but I, but I only bring this up, one, because the video went out. And people have been tagging me and, and they say, oh, Kanye's hanging with anybody now. He's hanging with Jason Lee. Oh, I can't believe Kanye West is hanging out with Jason. Let me say something to you. And it was all black people doing it. Black people, y'all be the first people to say white people this, white people that. Nobody give us this. Nobody give us that. We don't got no opportunities. And you'd be the first people to rip black people down. Y'all couldn't wait to go to my Instagram today and tell me that I wasn't shit or remind me in your opinion that I'm not anybody. But I was at dinner with Kanye West and you were sitting there watching it. You know, I find myself in rooms that we all deserve to be in. And what you don't realize is that when I'm at the table, bitch, you're at the table. But you're so quick to hate on me, just like you're so quick to hate on everybody doing better than you because you're sitting at home with your pathetic ass top ramen and fucking snot nosed kids who don't know their daddies. And you're blaming me because I'm out here fucking working, building studios so bitches like you can get a coin like me. OK, and then the other thing is I can't believe that I'm at dinner talking to Kanye West about how he can help the culture, how he could help us talking to him about my gratitude for what he has done for the culture and then trying to get him here. So that way you can hear the questions that you want to have question, uh, uh, answered and you criticize me. 
No matter what I do, I launch the studio, criticize. I put on for the culture, criticize. I hold Karen Civil accountable, criticize. I have a change in a co-host. It must be Jason's fault. Let me tell you what I want all of you to hear from me right now. All of you out there watching right now who have heard people talk shit about me, who have talked shit about me, I am continuing to fucking win. I win for the Gag Nation. I win for Hollywood Unlocked. I win for everybody who watches the show and roots me on. I I I win for the foster kid who was abandoned. I win for the group home kid who don't know where he's going to go next. I win for the victim who's been shot, abused, molested. I win for everybody who's ever been told they weren't going to do shit. And when you talk about me, you don't do anything but make me stronger. I'm literally the epitome of taking your bullshit and crafting it into a crown. That's why I'm your king, bitch. That's why when I wake up, I'm in your mouth. I should be a dick because I'm in your mouth every fucking day. Before you even put your kids in their broken ass stroller and will them down the hallway of the crack house you live in, bitch, I'm in your mouth. Some of you ain't even got no dick in your life because you're too busy with my dick down your throat. And you know what? If you would just take some time to go get plan B, you wouldn't have them kids that you don't want sitting around the TV watching my ass on Wild and Out. Everywhere you go, you got to see me. Instagram, Facebook, Clubhouse, Bego, YouTube.com, Breakfast Club, Wendy, where everywhere you go, I'm there. Why? And you're not, but you're hating. And I have to say to whack. You can say what you want about WAC 100. WAC 100 did what a lot of you niggas should have done a long time ago. And he did it selflessly. You know, sometimes when people bring me around, they don't, they don't, you know, it's one thing that Kanye said, you sit next to me. WAC sat all the way across the room because he wanted us to have our moment. He didn't even, and then we, we were all like, no, let's all get together. And, and. You know, there's not a lot of people in this industry that show me and Hollywood Unlocked love consistently because it's all transactional. What, what am I getting from Hollywood Unlocked? Like Alexis Sky. Well, I'm sick of talking about Alexis Sky. Why do we keep talking about her? I reached out to Alexis Sky to have her on the show and she canceled right before the interview saying that she had a last minute business trip. To do what? Shoot for flat tummy tea? I'm confused. But we give you a platform that you don't really even deserve because what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? You going to say some other niggas, your baby daddy? I don't know. I give you a platform and you just fuck it off because you, you're busy. I'm really confused, guys. I'm really confused. And then you turn around and be the victim. I, uh, uh, new rule at Hollywood Unlock. Do not talk about Akbar and, and Alexis Sky anymore. Are they on the list tonight? Okay, good. Don't talk about them anymore. Because we need to stay focused on what's relevant. What's relevant is I had dinner with somebody who is a cultural shifter and one of the most controversial people in hip hop last night. And I love his transparency. And I will go on to say again, the only reason I'm bringing this up is less about showing you the video because I know where I went. My team know where I went. More importantly, if you see it on social media, you know. But I was really disheartened to see so many people that look like me have so much negative shit to say. You can hate me all you want, but I want to tell everybody one thing. One, you cannot cancel me because I own myself. So I'm going to always be here and I'm going to always continue to grow. And two, I'm going to keep doing more shit for you to talk about. Shout out to Kanye. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to Evan Ross and everybody there that last night they had dinner. And uh, and the conversation was really, really good. Uh, there is an exclusive that we're dropping tomorrow on something that happened to Evan as uh, after that dinner. He was attacked by somebody there at the restaurant. We've been putting the story together and getting all the evidence and stuff, but we'll put that out in the morning. Um, but shout out to him and uh, shout out to the asshole that we're going to be putting on blast. All right, uh, that's it for that. Uh, anyway, and, and hey, hopefully a Kanye West interview will come someday, but I'm not going to press it. You know, uh, we did exchange numbers last night. And uh, I'm not going to text him. I'm going to leave it at that, you know, put the ball in his court because he is yay.